Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers Cyrus in the shadows, unknown eyewitness, nail sunny at the right time. General Hospital, GH, Spoilers Note fans have been scratching their heads about how the PCPD learned that Alexis Davis's Nancy Lee Gron car was at the Quartermain Mansion during the time John Jagger Cates. Adam J. Harrington was shot. This added piece of evidence was the nail in the coffin to charge Alexis with the FBI agent's murder, especially since she seemingly lied about it. Still, G8 viewers have been buzzing about who could have spilled the beans to the cops. The most likely suspect is Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, but she seems more determined to bring Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, down than Alexis. Someone who hasn't been on the canvas a lot lately is Cyrus Renault, Jeff Kober. With all the changes within the GH writing team throughout 2024, the intriguing character has fallen off the radar. The last fan saw Cyrus, he was visiting his comatose niece in August, Lulu Spencer, Alexa Havens, and praying over her. There wasn't much to that scene, and no indication if Cyrus was launching a new storyline or about to be placed in the mix of one. Many have speculated he could be the person to save Lulu and donate his liver, but this doesn't seem to be the case. As the scene with Cyrus was a one-off, could it be that GAK's writers are reminding fans of his existence as a new plot twist is on the horizon? Cyrus is a villain through and through but he has found God lately. He's fallen deep into the Bible and swears he's a changed man. However, there haven't been many on-screen opportunities to see if Laura Collins, Jenny Francis, brother has truly evolved into someone better. The eyewitness who told the cops about Alexis's car has not been revealed. This could be because the information is not important but it could also be a small detail that will be hidden until the right moment. Cyrus has a long-time feud with Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, and while he's been quiet in storylines, this could only mean writers are keeping the character on the down-low for an explosive plot twist. While Cyrus's Christian faith had him forgiving Sonny for a brutal attack on him months ago, the criminal did offer an official statement to Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, in hopes that someday they could nail the mob boss and charge him. That was swept under the rug, for whatever reason, possibly the change in the writing team. Still, if Cyrus is stewing from the sidelines that nothing has been done about Sonny, he may have decided to take matters into his own hands. Cyrus has fallen off Sonny's radar as a threat. This could be a dangerous thing as Cyrus is a master manipulator. Maybe Cyrus has been following Sonny in his actions. Did he witness the mob boss shooting John Cates? Does he know that Sonny is the one who did it and is just adding fuel to the fire by targeting Alexis and possibly Christina? General hospital spoilers suggest plenty of twists and turns with this storyline so it wouldn't be far-fetched to believe that Cyrus not only has the goods on Sonny shooting John Cates, but also tipped the police about Alexis to further manipulate the situation and cause Sonny and his family unneeded stress. In the murky underworld of Port Charles, secrets are currency and deception is an art form. Cyrus Renault, the enigmatic mob boss with a penchant for lurking in the shadows, is no stranger to both. But his latest scheme, orchestrated with chilling precision, involves an unexpected twist. A mysterious eyewitness who is about to bring Sonny Corinthos to his knees. The episode opens on a foggy night, where the city's underbelly pulses with a restless energy. Cyrus, ever the mastermind, paces in his luxurious yet eerily sterile office, the dim lighting casting elongated shadows on the walls. His sharp eyes gleam with a malevolent brilliance as he sifts through a stack of confidential files. The weight of his plan is evident. He's been waiting for the perfect moment to strike, and it's fast approaching. 
Sonny Corinthos, the kingpin of Port Charles, is blissfully unaware of the storm brewing. His life is a delicate balance of power and peril, with every decision he makes reverberating through the city's criminal hierarchy. At the moment, Sonny is preoccupied with a pressing issue involving his family, leaving him slightly vulnerable. A gap Cyrus has meticulously exploited. Enter the unknown eyewitness, a shadowy figure whose role in this dramatic unfolding is crucial yet shrouded in mystery. We first glimpse this person in a dingy diner on the outskirts of town, where the atmosphere is as thick with tension as the cigarette smoke hanging in the air. Clad in a nondescript coat and a hat pulled low over their face, this figure sits in a corner booth, their eyes sharp and observant as they watch every passerby. This witness, whose identity remains a tightly guarded secret, has been tracking Sonny's movements for weeks. They have seen things no one else hasn't gathered evidence that could dismantle Sonny's empire. Through a series of cryptic phone calls and clandestine meetings, the witness has been in constant contact with Cyrus, feeding him information and setting the stage for a dramatic confrontation. The plot thickens when Sonny's trusted enforcer, Jason Morgan, receives an anonymous tip-off about a potential threat to their operations. Although initially skeptical, Jason's instincts tell him that something is amiss. He sets out to investigate, unaware that the true danger is not just from the usual suspects, but from a previously unknown adversary. Meanwhile, the witness is in constant contact with Cyrus, their role becoming increasingly significant as the night unfolds. Cyrus, a master of psychological warfare, uses the information provided by the witness to orchestrate a series of strategic moves designed to lure Sonny into a trap. The tension rises as Sonny unknowingly walks into the carefully laid snare. As the evening progresses, Sonny heads to a secluded warehouse for what he believes to be a routine meeting. The location is significant, a place tied to old rivalries and past betrayals. Sonny's guards are stationed at a distance, and the area seems eerily quiet. The only sound is the distant hum of the city, a stark contrast to the storm brewing within the warehouse. Inside, Cyrus is waiting. He sits calmly at a table, a predatory smile playing on his lips. The witness, now a silent observer, is hidden in the shadows their presence only hinted at by the occasional glint of light reflecting off their eyes. The warehouse is a cavernous space filled with crates and forgotten relics, but its true significance lies in the trap that has been set. Sonny enters, his demeanor confident but cautious. He senses that something is off but pushes forward, determined to get to the bottom of the meeting. As he approaches the table where Cyrus sits, he feels a chill, an almost palpable sense of danger in the air. Just as the confrontation between Sonny and Cyrus reaches its peak, the witness steps into the light, revealing their presence to both men. The surprise is palpable, and Sonny's face darkens as he recognizes the gravity of the situation. The witness holds up a series of incriminating photos and documents, their evidence standing and irrefutable. Cyrus's smirk widens as he watches Sonny's reaction. The revelation of the witness and their evidence is a game-changer, shaking Sonny's confidence and forcing him to confront the reality of his precarious position. The witness's role in this elaborate scheme has been to play the final card, delivering the knockout blow to Sonny's carefully constructed world. As the episode closes, the fallout from this dramatic encounter begins to unfold. Cyrus's plan has succeeded, but the repercussions are just beginning. Sonny is left to grapple with the consequences of the exposure, and the witness's motives and identity remain a tantalizing mystery. Poor Charles, ever a city of intrigue and danger, is now on the brink of a new era. The shadows that once cloaked Cyrus's ambitions are now illuminated by the stark light of truth, 
and the unknown witness has etched their place into the annals of the city's criminal lore. The stage is set for a new chapter in the saga of power, betrayal, and survival.